What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. And even though we are literally almost a month a month past WrestleMania, I figure you know what? Why not? Why not do this video? So today, I'm gonna be giving you guys giving you guys the top five worst WrestleMania 35 matches in history. Now, kicking off this list at number five, hands down in my opinion, the worst of them all. Samoa Joe versus Rey Mysterio for the United States Championship. Now, this whole thing with Mysterio and Joe pretty much started when Samoa Joe became UF's champion. You know, this is the one, you know, this is the one the one championship that Mysterio has never won in his career in WWE. He's been he's been he's been a former He's a former two-time World Heavyweight Champion. He's a former one-time WWE Champion, a multi-time Intercontinental Champion, a multi-time Tag Team Champion, and he has and he has also won the 2006 Royal Rumble. He's been he's won the WWE Cruiserweight Championship as well. He's also won the WCW Cruiserweight Title, multiple championships during his days in WWE. ECW, WCW, and this is the one. This was the one championship that he had never won his career, and I and, and the way they booked him, it seemed like they want they didn't want Ray Ray Mysterio, Mysterio to win because in my opinion, I think he only came back just to be a just just to be like a. I wouldn't I I I wouldn't say I I wouldn't say a role model, but I. I would prefer to call it like kind of, kind of, kind of like a um, kind of like a stepping stone. I, I I would say for the for the newer generation of superstars, you know, like obviously Ali, uh, you know, Finn Balor, you know, Becky Lynch as well, um, Styles. Um, who else can I name? Um, you know, you know uh, Joe as well, The Miz, just just to name a few. And I think that's how they were trying to book this match was to make Mysterio pretty much a joke, and um, they did they 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 succeeded, and I would consider, and that's why this match is on number five. It's simply because it was at, it was the worst booking for for that match of all time. So kicking off at number four, going through the match card which I have. Right here. Um, and number four, we have, um, truth be told, the Women's Battle Royal, the WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal. Now, the reason why I put this at number four is because originally, um, the play from, from, from the reports that I've seen on Twitter and, you know, and whatnot, the, the, the reports had it saying that the plan was to have. Sonya Deville win the match to, you know, as a, you know, as like a, you know, to promote the, the whole LGBTQ community, and that was not the, and that backfired, you know, Carmella, you know, you know, eliminated Sonya Deville, and, um, or, or, actually, or, or, actually, no, sorry, sorry, scratch that, no, no, not Sonya Deville, Sarah Logan. Sorry, um, sorry, sorry, not, not Sonya Deville. Sonya Deville was eliminated by Sarah Logan, and then Logan got, got eliminated by, uh, Carmella. So, so, so the plan, so I guess the plan was to have, so, sorry, so I guess the plan was to have Sarah Logan win the match to, you know, to, um, you know, you know, to boost her own career, but Carmella ended up winning that match, probably because they're gonna book Carmella to win the women's Money in the Bank ladder match that's coming that's actually coming up in less in, in less than a couple weeks. So that and plus the booking of the match was absolutely brutal. I mean we saw a lot of of stars from from NXT. You know like you know like um like um uh, Kyrie Sane, Candice LeRae, uh, just to name a few, and and of course and of course returning superstars like Ember Moon. As well, so honestly, I was personally I was kind of hoping for Kansas for Kansas Ray because that way, if she won the match, 
odds are she probably would have gotten bumped up to the main roster right off the bat. And I would not mind mind seeing that, you know, you know, her feuding with you know, you know, someone like maybe um you know, maybe Zelina Vega. I mean after what happened um after what happened a couple of like was it last year? Yeah. Yeah, like 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 around last year. You know, over the NXT title with Gargano and Andrade. I wouldn't mind, mind seeing that. So, moving on at number three. Hands down. The Revival against Hawkins and Ryder. Yes. I don't even know how to, how, how to explain it, except the fact that the losing streak is now over. Of course, since becoming the Raw Tag Team Champions, Hawkins and Ryder had, had only lost one match, and that was in a that was in a that was in a eight man tag, uh, as part of the as part of the Superstar Shakeup, which involved them, Ricochet and Alistair Black against the Revival and the Viking Raiders, or now or, yeah, and the Viking Raiders. So that was their only loss, and um, honestly, I could definitely see them losing the title, so possibly to, pot to, possibly the Usos, which. Honestly, I wouldn't mind. I, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Uh, maybe lose the titles. You know, you know, drop the titles back to the, to the revival and have the revival drop the titles to the Usos, possibly. But this was like the worst way to that. But the ending of that match was like the worst way to end it. Like, I that that was just absolutely brutal. That was a brutal way to end to end that match. And then, and then, of course, at number two, this is a hard one because there were so many great matches on the card, but I would have to pick The Miz and Shane McMahon. False count anywhere. The booking of the match was absolutely devastating. They were trying to hype up The Miz winning that match, but unfortunately, Shane McMahon was like, you know what, screw you, Miz. I'm going to win. And so that's pretty much how, how it happened. Of course, too, we do know that at Money at, at Money in the Bank, um, uh, the Miz will face Shane McMahon inside a steel cage. Odds are, someone might 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 get involved in the match, possibly Elias. Um, I'm not sure, but we do know now that there are eight matches on the card as we speak, including one, two, three, four, including four championship matches. We have the WWE title, the Raw and SmackDown Women's titles. And the universal title as well. Plus, we got the men's and women's money in the bank ladder matches, which um, in which I will be doing a prediction video on that um, on the final on the final SmackDown Live immediately following um, immediately following 205 Live, which is which will be a part of the last SmackDown before Money in the Bank. So stay tuned for that. So again, that so again, Miz and Shane, that was like one of the worst bookings of them all. And then, of course, at number one, yes, Kurt Angle, Baron Corbin. I know. Baron Corbin beats Kurt Angle. I'm like, I'm still at a loss of words for, for, for that match. But you know what? But you know what? It is. But you know what? It is what it is. Of course, too, um, Kurt Angle had a, an amazing 20-year career. You know, date, you know, debuting back in 1999. First year, first during the first few months in WWE, he wins both the WWE and both the Intercontinental and the European titles. Fast forward to like No Mercy 2000, wins the WWE title, and then ends up dropping it to to The Rock and No Way Out in 2001. That that was a huge. That was a great rookie year for for Kurt Angle, you know. And then of course, and then of course, transcending from WWE to. Uh, to New Japan Pro Wrestling, TNA, you know, coming back, it was amazing, it, it was a great run for him, um, I can't wait to see, um, to see what, what the future holds for him, but, but again, this match was like the, was the by far, by far the worst booking of the entire card, because they were hyping up Kurt Angle to win the match, but that did not happen. Alright, you guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Let me know, let me know in the comments below which match you thought was the worst of them all out of all 16 matches. Yes, 16 matches in five, in what, 
and what was it, seven, almost eight hours counting, counting the kickoff show. So counting, so counting the kickoff show. Let me know in the comments below what what you thought was the worst match of them all. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. Sorry about that, guys. That was my phone. And, and if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any new content that comes your way, including a vlog video that I will be doing later this week, um, possibly either tomorrow or Thursday at the time of this recording. So, um, so stay tuned for that. And, of course, Twitter, Instagram, links to everything will be down in the, in the description below. Um, if you guys want to send fan mail, I would love to um, read your guys' letters. My home address is down in the description below as well. So send fan mail. And on that, this is your boy Nash signing out.